This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. I don't care what anybody else says, once June hits, especially here on the east coast of the US, it is officially summer. But hello my peeps, welcome back to the channel. Now being that it's officially summer, I figured what better time to delve into one of my all time favorite summer snacks and see what variations the internet has to offer when it comes to the s'more. A humble yet delicious combination of chocolate, graham crackers, and marshmallows. S'mores are delicious in pretty much any form and we are gonna test that theory today and see how far we can go with some of these insanely creative and delicious looking versions. First, we've got the s'mores pie from My Cupcake Addiction, then following that up with the s'mores macaron from Tasty, and rounding it all off with the s'mores waffle ice cream sandwich from Dylan LeMay. I got my graham cracker flannel on, I got all the ingredients I will need to make these, so let's get right into this one. As ready and eager as I am to be enveloped in a sugar and chocolate coma, I did have to give a quick shout out to my friends over at Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and are shipped directly to your door. Everybody's different and Helix knows that, so they created a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. As some of you probably know, I myself took the sleep quiz and because of my body type and the fact that I like a medium to firm mattress and sleep on my back, they hooked me up with this guy. And it has been almost 18 months now of some of the most satisfying and deep sleeps I have ever gotten in my entire life. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the quiz together to find something that is the perfect compromise for the both of you. And potentially the best part of this is the fact that Helix delivers your mattress to your door for free anywhere in the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up for yourself. And if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love it. If you don't, after those three months, Helix will pick it up for you and you will get a full refund. Plus Helix offers a 10 year warranty, financing options, and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. So if you are in the market for a new mattress, click the link in the top line of the description, go to helixsleep.com slash David Seymour. You can get up to $200 off of your mattress plus two free pillows. And of course, thanks to Helix for supporting the channel. Let's waste no more time and jump right into the s'mores pie from My Cupcake Addiction. You will need some sugar and large marshmallows, graham cracker crumbs, some milk chocolate chips, and some butter. We're starting with this one because it's the simplest. It requires the least amount of ingredients, the least amount of prep time. All you really gotta do is whip up the graham cracker crust with some graham cracker crumbs like this or just some crushed up cookies. I will say this was extremely dry and crumbly feeling. I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna set up in the oven. But then you just tamp that down into your pie dish or your tart tin, pre-bake that for about 10 minutes, load in your chocolate, your marshmallows, and then bake that off until you get a nice golden top. Let me just say that I absolutely adore this woman. She's one of my favorite food creators on YouTube. She's my go-to for whenever I need a foolproof baking recipe. I think I've made her buttercream about 150 times. And she also just seems so like sweet and nice in her videos. She's kind of like the version of Anne Reardon that doesn't like tweets about how shit I am. If you remember that whole ordeal, shout outs to you because that was an interesting one. I would highly recommend you keeping a close eye while this is in the oven. I think mine took about 15 minutes to get some good color. But marshmallows burn extremely quickly. They're easier to burn than when talking about any TikTok chef trying to make a basic food. And as good as this looked, unfortunately, something went wrong with the crust. This would be a very difficult food to get clean slices of anyway, but the crust was super dry. It just kind of cracked apart wherever it wanted to instead of slicing where the knife was. But that will not affect the taste, so let's give this one a try. Mm. This may be ugly, but I don't care. The smell takes me right back to all the best summer nights as a kid, having to take like four showers to get the smell of a bonfire out of your hair. Mm. To no one's surprise, this is delicious. It's got that insanely sweet cavity inducing level that I was looking for. Obviously the only miss is the crust. I don't know if it needed a little more moisture. I don't know if it didn't bake long enough, but it did crumble quite a bit and made it look very ugly, but I would highly recommend this any time of the year, not just the summer. It's a great base for if you wanna add some nuts or different kinds of chocolate candies. Very delicious, extremely nostalgic. My Cupcake Addiction comes through again. Moving right along to level two of creativity and difficulty. We've got Tasty's S'mores Macarons, and you will need some AP flour and powdered sugar, heavy cream, granulated sugar, some salt, vanilla extract, marshmallows, dark chocolate, and eggs. 
Right at the start, we have to take a hard deviation away from Tasty's recipe, and the reason is because they use a traditional macaron recipe containing almond flour. As most of you probably know, I am very allergic to nut products, so I found this video from Macaron Recipes, which offers a super simple alternative to the classic almond flour preparation. I have tried a handful of recipes like this in the past, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think any of them turned out. I was never able to get that dough perfectly pipeable, get the tops nice and dry to the touch before going in the oven where they achieve those feet. So this will be another good exercise to see if there exists any recipe out there that doesn't use almond flour but still works out. I didn't add any food coloring to this like the video does and most macarons do just because you want these to resemble a pale maybe slightly golden graham cracker look. But I piped them out onto my silpat as evenly as I could just kind of eyeballing the circles. Left them at room temp for about 40 minutes until they were dry to the touch on top and then stuck them in the oven at 300 degrees for about 15 to 20 ish minutes. I didn't want to say anything and jinx it but I think we're in the clear. These look amazing. Maybe not as perfect as some of the pros out there, but they have the feet. They're nice and flat across the tops for the most part. They came off the sill pat really clean. Needless to say, I could not be happier with these and I will definitely be using that recipe again. For the rest of this, you just have to whip up a quick chocolate ganache, let that set in the fridge to firm up because you're gonna have to pipe a little bit of that on each and every cookie. Stuff a marshmallow between two of them, toast them off and you are pretty much done. I freaking love the addition of the chariness from a blowtorch and putting them on a skewer as if you actually were at a campfire. Every once in a while, Tasty will come through with a really clever and creative gem. Was it stolen from a different YouTuber or a blog somewhere? Very possible. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now and let's give these guys a shot. Look at these things. I am so thrilled. Ignore the burnt part where it might have caught on fire a little bit. Uh, but the rest of them look so good. I kind of had to mix and match the cookies to get two halves that fit and were the same size, but I can't complain overall because, wow. What's the proper way to pronounce these cookies, by the way? Macaron, macron, macaroon, uh, someone let me know. Either way, I think this is a very good version of one of those. They're super light and airy. The top has a nice little crisp to it. Um, I don't really know how they're supposed to taste. I think this is the first proper one I've ever eaten, but it tastes good to me. And of course the ganache and toasted marshmallow is awesome as well. Once again, super creative and delicious. Let's just hope it wasn't stolen from somewhere. Um, and I find out later and feel bad about it. Lastly today, and with most excitement, I present to you Dylan LeMay's S'mores Waffle Ice Cream Sandwich. I gathered together some vegetable oil and flour, sugar and heavy cream, graham cracker crumbs, salt, sweetened condensed milk, and normal milk, some hot fudge and vanilla extract, marshmallow fluff and baking powder, as well as some butter and a few eggs. You might be able to tell just from the ingredient list alone, but I will be making every single aspect of this from scratch today. I'm gonna make Babish's homemade vanilla soft serve. I am whipping up a very quick and easy waffle batter to make some homemade waffles. Please feel free to skip as many steps as possible. Even in the video, Dylan himself probably uses like frozen waffles. I just figured why not take it up even a couple more notches. Possible controversial take incoming, but as far as like the weather and the actual season itself, I think summer is my least favorite. It's just so damn hot and humid. You gotta deal with sunburn and mosquitoes and bees. And not to mention the behemoth sized black snake I found in my backyard the other day. I almost grabbed the damn thing when I was picking up sticks. Snake warning if you're as scared of snakes as I am. This thing was a monster, so just another reason I am not a summer fan. Although all the treats and activities around summer, I guess are okay. You don't gotta deal with the Bronx Zoo inhabiting your backyard when it's snowing in December. That's all I'm saying. I made sure to start with the ice cream for this one just to make sure it had ample time to set up in the freezer. I then whipped up some beautiful and incredible smelling waffles and then started assembling all this. I started by first drop kicking my camera and then attempting to pipe my ice cream onto the waffle. This did not work. 
the really hard frozen bits were clogging the piping tip, so I figured why not just plop it on there anyway. And then it was melting so fast in my hand that I ruined that first waffle and had to reset. It really doesn't matter what the ice cream looks like anyway because the entire outside is going to get covered with the graham crackers. Who cares if you have a perfectly piped looking ice cream in there? We cannot forget to stuff the middle with some of the hot fudge and then finish it off with some toasted marshmallow fluff. I am getting major flashbacks from my pumpkin spice donut ice cream sandwich. If this is anything near as good as that, I will be one happy camper today, to say the least. So let's give this guy a shot. I think it goes without saying, I am very excited. Mmm. So is babies. Well, Dylan already does, but still. You guys probably know I'm not the craziest about sweets in general. I never really crave them. This is unbelievable though. One of the best waffles I've ever eaten. I love the texture of that ice cream. It's so light and so easy to make. The toasted marshmallow fluff and the graham cracker adds the perfect amount of s'moresness. It's melting really fast because it's very hot in my basement, but this is unbelievable. Obviously feel free to use whatever shortcuts you want. Buy some frozen waffles, buy some ice cream, um, but you should make this in some capacity. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave me a big old like. It helps out the video immensely. Let me know what food group or recipe you'd like to see me scour the internet and find the best versions and alterations of. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you do not already. And other than that, have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you right back here next time. Peace! Super lazy. Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me. Try and supersize my life with my A team. Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision.